dollar. <laughs> What's going on guys? Festival Giant coming at you. So, first off, that Moonrise lineup. I'm in total awe and blown away and the Syndit Squad will be there in full force. Oh my god, Tiesto is going to be there. I haven't seen him since I was like 17. I, I want to cry. I really want to cry. Oh my god. That lineup is stacked top to bottom. Oh my god. I can't wait for August. I am 42 days away from Bonnaroo. And August can't get here soon enough. That's, that's all I can say on that. Oh my god. God, let's get ready to rumble. Oh my God. Anyways, I in the Send It Squad, partial Send It Squad, went to Digital Gardens. That was two weeks ago. You guys. <laughs> That was a definite, definite got to do every year fest from now on. It was small, it was easy to navigate, but it wasn't so small that you were like crammed together or anything. It was, it was super flowy. Like when you come in through the entrance, you got a nice line of porta johns, and then you kind of turn and go up the hill a little bit. You got a couple eateries, you know. There were some really good food trucks out there. That uh, that Korean coffee me and Chels had was was so good um, once you kind of turn up the hill you got the silent disco off to your left decent sized tent and the best part about that silent disco was it was two DJs playing at once You had one playing kind of a house style, and then you had another playing some dubstep and rhythm. It was so much fun switching between the two. I know Chels had a great time. I had a great time. I'm pretty sure everybody had a great time. Um, and kind of like once you kind of got past the silent disco a little bit, there was some people out there doing some painting and some like some really cool like sculpting. And they had a nice little sitting area, and then there was another food truck and they had like tables and chairs and benches and then they had these little concrete sections that had like pillows on them it was really cool um once you walked up past that a little bit there were two storage containers that were like a watering hole pretty much you go get your booze your water your soft drinks stuff like that and then just a little past that was the main stage that was a really good main stage. Like it had like an underground warehouse feel almost. And then you had some vendors and then the VIP section. 
if anybody's watched any of my Tripnotic videos, you kind of got to see some of the stage. Um, if you watched the video that I recorded while we were at Digital Gardens, you got to see a little bit of like the silent disco and that little sitting area with the arts that I was telling you about. I didn't show any of the main stage except for when I did I did record like the artist up on stage. I didn't get any of the vendors either. The vendors were really cool. Uh, I got my first, well mine and Chelsea's first, uh, first what hoodie I guess you could call it or hippie hoodie. Anyways, it's made out of 100% hemp and it is warm and airy. It, it's, it keeps you at that perfect temperature. That, that was our big buy. Uh, Digital Gardens was cold. It was rainy off and on, and it was windy. Oh my God, the wind was killer. But it's a definite forever festival for me, and it helps that we went on 420. <laughs> Everybody was out there lighting them like it was legal. <laughs> I can't even lie about that. It was, it was really nice. Um, aside from Digital Gardens, I did get to do Peekaboo last weekend, well this past weekend.
never ceases to amaze me. I got to see him at Lost, Lost Lands last year and was blown away, just immediately hooked. And he did not fail less or this past Saturday. I'm still trying to wrap my, my, my brain around everything that happened. <laughs> Oh, nothing bad. It was just like the music itself just kind of like sucked me in and carried me away. It, it was much needed, let's put it that way. It was a, been a really stressful last two weeks of work, but that that made up for all of it. And being there with the Cinda Squad, that couldn't have asked for a better time. But Moon, Moonrise, that Moonrise lineup, I'm, I'm still just kind of trying to grasp. What's going on? Peekaboo's gonna be there. I have I grabbed tons of footage for Peekaboo this past Saturday. I even got his autograph. Yes, adding to that collection. Dude. Super humble person, like super humble. Like I've I've experienced a lot of DJs and they're all very humble people, but Matt was like, I thought he was gonna give me a hug. <laughs> super awesome person, super nice, couldn't have been more humble, and I couldn't have asked for a better set, and if it's anything like he's gonna be bringing to Lost Lands, Lost Lands is not ready. It, it, was, it was face melting. Just start to finish, just. Hold up, God, 42 days away from Bonnaroo. Oh, the entire, the entire friend group basically is going to be together minus like three or four people. Uh, we're going to have such a large community. I cannot wait. It's 42 days away. It could be, I think it's 42, 41. We're in those 40s and it's approaching quickly <laughs> festival season is upon us full swing and i couldn't be more stoked for these lineups that are coming out i'm de we're definitely doing moonrise that's a fact definitely doing digital gardens for now on that is a forever festival for me bonnaroo that's home i will be home every year I uh, would really, I really still would like to do Imagine Festival this year. That, that that's one I'd spent on my list for several years and been meaning to do. The reasonings for Digital Gardens being a forever festival is just like how easy it was to navigate and the vibes, man. That that's what these festivals are about is the vibes and the awesome people you meet and just letting the music kind of take over and just being one with everybody i know that sounds super hippie and super wook whatever you want to call it but that's that's what it's like man that's why i do this that's why i make these videos for you guys so you you can can see what it's like and i was not like this two years ago i've been in i've been in the the show scene for a long time i've been a candy kid for a long time and until last year when I went to my first festival, camping festival, Bonnaroo changed my whole outlook on life. It gave me, it just, it gave me hope and humanity from all the people and like vibes that I felt and like Moonrise did the same. Lost Lands was a little different. It, it felt like a metal scene to me. There's not a lot of love at these metal shows and stuff like that. Like it's fucking raw. But I still, we still met some really cool people there and still gave me faith in humanity and just the vibes were good. And then Digital Gardens was the same way as Bonnaroo for me. It just, it was nothing but love, man. Just, ah, 
It's changed my life. It really has. Like, I, I, I don't know how else to explain it other than the vibes and the love and the people have just affected my life in a way that I, that I want it to, in a good way. It's not all about the drugs and all that shit. I don't go there for all the drugs. I smoke my weed and that's it. Really, really, I just smoke my buds and I let the music take me away and just feel the vibes. It's all about the vibes. But digital forever home. Bonnaroo forever home. Moonrise. It's probably going to be a forever home if they keep these lineups up. Um... Back to Peekaboo, I've got tons of footage, tons and tons of footage. So I'll be throwing those in with some of the some of the uh, video here, and I got a new intro video. I'm kind of stoked about. I got that from Digital. Um, yeah, I'm I'm so happy right now. Moonrises, <sighs> Moonrises, gonna be insane. Peekaboo made my entire weekend. Bonnaroo is 40 days away, 42 days away. I just got a notification from Becca saying she just bought her Moonrise ticket. Dude. Tiesto is going to be at Moonrise. The first DJ I ever really listened to. The first DJ that ever really meant anything to me. And then I got to see him live twice when I was in high school. And now I'm going to get to see him for a third time. And I'm going to be with my love, who loves Tiesto as well. So that's going to be one of the greatest experiences of my life, is to do that with her, because I've seen him twice. Once during his Dance for Life tour. And if anybody knows about Tiesto, everybody knows that that Dance for Life tour changed a lot of people's lives. <sighs> Man. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. But anyways, I I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to hit those like buttons on those videos and hit that subscribe button. I'll have some more stuff coming soon. I'm going to be posting up videos all week of stuff from Digital Gardens and stuff from Peekaboo. I also have a couple Riot 10 videos I found that I didn't get to post up. And I'll be getting those up as well. But anyways, I love you guys. Stay awesome.